What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm SoCal Shaolin. Today you're going to be joining me as I hit up the Frankenstein Collectible Show. Right there behind me, that giant warehouse. They have everything. They have toys, comics, uh, cards, sports cards, Pokemon. They got Legos. They got it all here. Anything for the collector. Sports memorabilia. They have it all here. So hopefully we can find some good deals. It's been over a year since I've been back. Last time I was here, did not find anything. The deals are hard to come by here at the Frankenstein Show. Especially the past few years, as the popularity has grown of this place. I mean, it is a new location, but I miss the old one. I miss the old one. Uh, but we're going to go in, hopefully, to find something to take home with us. Fingers crossed. If this is your first time tuning in, subscribe to the channel to keep up with my toy hunting adventures. Also, you can go back and check out my past videos as well. Also, find me on Instagram at SoCalShaw. Uh, so let's head on in to Frank's Uncollectible Show in the city of industry right outside of Los Angeles. Here we are guys inside the Frankenstein collectible show. As you can see, it's pretty large. And we're here right at opening, so it's not that packed right now. So that could be good for looking at booths because it does get packed and it's kind of hard to look around, especially films. So we're gonna start off over here on this end, work our way down. Before we get into the toys, I wanna check out this cool McDonald's collection that the owners of Frank and Son have. They got some awesome stuff. Like all these cool statues that were part of the McDonald's restaurants back in the 80s some even before that but they even have like these cool showcases here with more of their collections like look at all this smurfs these little pvc smurfs figures they got so many of them we got some et stuff right there like i said they have lots of uh, mcdonald's stuff which is very cool they got that Big Mac. And then over here, the kids are taking a photo op with uh, Ronald McDonald. And then you got some of the playground stuff up there on top. That's so cool. And then the other thing that's awesome is the Toys R Us sign that they got from when the stores were closing. You got the R right there. And then you got a Jeffrey. Pretty cool. And like I said, a whole bunch of collectibles here. Check out all that cool stuff up there. Awesome, and then this is a very awesome lunchbox collection. I feel like I'm gonna be saying the word awesome a lot here today. But yeah, this is cool. They got a lot of great stuff. They got the Universal Monsters there. Fat Albert. They got some Master stuff. And then you got all kinds of uh, Robotech collectibles in here. Hey, there's a Harry and the Hendersons up there. Uh, so we're gonna keep on moving. Check out the rest of the show. That's huge, guys. Look at all these aisles. In about another hour or two, it's gonna get super packed in here. So this is something that's new that wasn't here the last time. There's all these BMX bikes hanging up on the wall from the 80s. And we got some really old ones. I don't even know what year those are from. But yeah, if you're a fan of BMXing or the movie Rad like I was, that's an awesome movie. If you haven't seen it, there goes some BMX bikes right there. Really cool. All right, here we got a whole bunch of Topps cars from the 80s. They got lots of cool series here. They even got Growing Pains. There's some E.T., Supergirl, Superman, Alien. There's a lot of good stuff in here. And the prices have definitely skyrocketed. How are the duck even for seven bucks? Looking for these is actually really fun. And got Champ 
replica championship rings. Tickets? Oh, these are reproduction tickets of like concerts and things like Beatles concerts, sporting events, and political stuff. This is a Lego booth, by the way. They have tons of Legos here. So you can get the minifigures by themselves, which is pretty neat. There's a Halloween one right there. You will find plenty of pops. Lots of booths here with pop figures at the Frank and Son show. A lot of places are still closed because it is early. We got here right when they open at nine. Over here there's lots of cards, big card section. They got magic, they got Pokemon, they even got sports cards here now too. So this is the sports section over here, like I said. They have everything for the collectors, not just toys. You see here, this is for the sports fans. They got NFL autograph helmets, jerseys. Uh, Nolan Ryan, Damian Lillard right there. We got Zion jersey autograph. Nice. Trey Young. Tom Brady. RJ Barrett there as well. So this booth is not open yet. And then for you wrestling fans, they got oh they got a rock autographed pictures. Actually uh PSA certified. Stone Cold. Well, that's pretty rare. Ultimate Warrior, 900 bucks. Of course, he has passed on. And then this is really cool. Autographed by Adam West and Burt Ward. Nah, that looks really sick with the silver Sharpie on there. Nice. some nice stuff here we got some animated series batman master of the phantom 30 so i don't know about these prices guys 40 dollars this is a very cool scorpion though it was craven carnage looks really dope morbius kingpin that's cool carnage spider-man set 30 bucks for that Spider-Man. Like I said, man, he's kind of high. I don't know if it's just this booth or the Toy Biz. Marvel stuff's starting to go up. Let me know down below. Oh, like this stealth venom is pretty amazing right here. It's translucent. Wow. Yeah, that actually is pretty cool. There's the Prowler. We got some more 90 stuff. Adam's Family. This is a set I do want to pick up, but I don't know if I want to drop 30 on this guy. I think I can find him cheaper. And I believe these are the remakes that just came out in that box set. 2020, yes. But still cool to see. Oh, I got this comb from Wicked, the Ewok set. That's pretty awesome. Was a Pee Wee Herman. These are cool. They got a whole bunch of them. And here's one from the Palisades Muppet line. And these are pretty pricey if you're into those Muppets. Popeye the Sailor Man. Here's some uh, Robin Hood figures hiding in the back. Ten bucks for Little John is not bad. The Dark Warriors. We got some clothes for Snoopy. And this might be a great deal right here. Eight bucks for Kevin Costner. Waterworld. The, it's coming out of the car. It's like they taped it, but that's pretty good. 
Got some Congo. Tales from the Crypt Keeper. It is Halloween season now. We got Cadillac and dinosaurs. I got like a whole bunch of them here. Pretty neat. We got Funkos and stuff. This booth has some awesome vintage Star Wars stuff. I don't know if you can see with the glare. Hopefully you can. There's a Max Rebel band. It says not for sale. I wonder if that's a legit Bino Cape Jawan. Maybe it's not because it's uh, not for sale. But here's something you don't see every day. The Blue Stars. Uze. Very cool. Card. Only the other time I've seen that is that Star Wars Celebration. Where you got a Namanaman. Some graded Star Wars figures there. You got a Stormtrooper Luke. Got some uh, Shogun Warrior stuff down here. Some of the Ewok figures there. Some of the big Shogun Warriors out there. So if you're into Marvel Legends, Frankenstein is definitely the place for you. They, they're not short of Marvel Legends here at this place. You get loose ones like you see here, even men on card from all kinds of years. You can go way back. I don't collect Legends anymore. I sold them all, but they got some good ones in here. They do look cool. We got some Transformers. For you Transformers collectors out there. You get dragons for five bucks. A lot of Black Series Star Wars as well. Uh, we found some vintage toys. We got some superpowers here. Nothing that we need. And even got some Ghostbusters stuff. You got a Granny, the Dracula, a couple of Ghostbusters, Slimer. They even got some ghosts there for sale. Uh, nothing I'm looking for. A Magneto over. Hey, I'm looking for a Captain America Secret Wars. I'm trying to get a better, better one than the one I have. Mine's kind of getting a little discolored in the arms. So I'm trying to find a more mintier version. Here we got some 
Strawberry shortcake, Care Bears. Hmm. We got some Ninja Turtle figures here. Ninja Bananas. And the cover Don. A couple of Masters Universe stuff here. So there's the grandma from the Adams family right there. Eight bucks. I kind of want to get those figures complete with well, all the accessories. A couple of Mortal Kombat G.I. Joes right there. Homies. There's lots of homies here at Franken's Son. Here you go, some Transformers G1 stuff. Beast Wars. Ooh, they got some Pac-Man. I like me some Pac-Man. Even got an sync figure, Justin Timberlake. There goes the Slam Dunkin' Don for 125 minute on card. Some good stuff here in this case. Vintage stuff. Like I said, you can get anything here at the Frankenstein Show. Anything that's collectible, nerdy, part of a fandom. You got like all these bootleg sports shirts as well as all the band stuff right there. We got a lot of handhelds over here. We got some custom ones. I see people sell those. But man, they got some. So they put a back lit screen on that Game Boy color or pocket, I should say. I actually did that to a couple of these. Very cool. That way you can play it with low lighting. You got some of those micros. GameCube games. I've really shut up in price. As you can see here. 280 for Chibi Robo. Billy Hatcher. We have some massive universe origins figures. Uh, so here are some of the newer ones. I have yet to see these at targets in my area. 25 Pigman or Pig Head I should say. 25. I still need to find him. There's Digitino. I'm determined to find these at retail at Target. I don't think I could pay that right now. But you got the Masterverse Sun Man. Very cool. I've never seen him before. All right, here we have the trading card booth. This is like the trading card booth here at the Frankenstein Show. Because he has everything, as you can see here. From all the different decades some good stuff we even got the return of oz cards wizard of oz stuff from heroes dinosaurs attack andy griffith and plus some bill and ted stuff pinocchio with jonathan taylor thomas what the oh these are cool super mario brother movies trading cards that's hook And then inside they have like boxes, unopened boxes. He goes some garbage pail kids. These are amazing. Old school. Incredible that these things are still unopened after all these decades. Uh, these Fright Flicks cards have gone up, so the Freddy Krueger one, a little bit more. Because people, I do collect these, and a lot of people do collect them. They don't open them. I like having like a pack of each. 
And we got some more cards here. Some turtles. Like I said, lots of boxes here, unopened. Insane. Yeah. Right, here we have the Dark Helmet booth, one of the, probably the biggest vintage booths here. At Frankston, they also have another one right behind me. That's theirs also. So, as you can see here, the kind of crazy stuff they have. Tiger sharks. One twenty. That guy is, is that the driller from Thundercats, I think? Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. We have a uh, scare glow with nothing for 300. I do have to say they are overpriced. And then we have a He-Man here, graded, a Savage He-Man, Wonder Bread He-Man, whatever you want to call him. I have no idea who is graded by APG. But for $5,000. But yeah, they have a lot of stuff. I just think they're a little bit overpriced. Okay, look at this Skeletor here. I wanna say that's one of the Leo ones or India ones. Maybe it's just because of the coloring and the price, 250. And that was another tiger shark. So inside the booth here we have a pretty beat up, pretty dirty. I don't know if it's complete sewer playset top of the pizza launcher 15 bucks as you have the lower half of that here goes a handheld turtle game a crank android crank body some more graded stuff man that collector's pack four pack damn they're asking 550 yeah, i don't think so But one thing I gotta give it to them, they have a lot of stuff. They have a lot of stuff. Over here they got some Lucy's. Some wingnut. Splinter. Walkabout. So they have a lot of stuff. We spent some time here going through all these bags. Top, you got some cool playsets there. You got the Police Academy playset, Tailspin, the ship, or the airplane, I should say. Some GoBot stuff, Evil Knievel, Snake Mountain. It's the original Turbo Man, not the Walmart remake by Super 7. So they got a lot of good stuff here. We're gonna head over across to the other, their other booth, a much bigger booth. You see, you got all the horror stuff up there. Ghoulies, you got gremlins, nuts, lots of minifigures. If you're into Legos, they even got those bag, launch fly bags. Here we have a whole bunch of 80s girl toys, which is really cool to see because you don't really see these a lot at toy stores. You got a lot of Rainbow Bright. You got some trolls on top of here. But it's very cool to see Rainbow Bright F figures. You got some of the vinyl figures down at the bottom. A puzzle. Right above that, we have some Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin stuff from the 90s. That's a crazy looking chicken alien right there. 
And here we got some more. We got some strawberry shortcake, which my girlfriend does collect strawberry shortcake. She has a lot of this stuff already. But very cool to see. I got that Smurfs lunch tray right there. That's cool. You got some little vinyl figures, some Star Trek micro machine type of figures. Dudley Do Right Bendy figure. Check out these guys. Battle Troll. Jax from Mortal Kombat Trilogy. They definitely, uh, after the G.I. Joe Mortal Kombat figures, they definitely went downhill on the design of those figures. Here we got uh, My Little Pony. Lots of some vintage stuff and then some newer ones right there. Care Bears. What was that a cool playset from the Care Bears? I love that every 80s toy line had a playset. Castle Grayskull. So yeah, that's this booth. Lots of stuff over here. Here goes some street sharks. I know my friend Richard. He's a street shark collector. I don't know if you ever seen that big old one. It was like a puppet. Food Fighters in there as well. Gargoyles, biker mice, a lot of stuff mixed in here. Small soldiers, those are SWAT cat, SWAT cat figures, both of them. I am out of the Frank and Son collectible show. Let me know what you guys thought of the show. If you've never been here before, I definitely suggest checking it out at least once. I still think the prices are too high and the deals are hard to come by, like I was saying earlier. Um, I don't know what it is, why that is. Maybe it's because lots of more casual people come here that are not collectors and they're hoping to grab them, grab a sell from them for, you know, Maybe hit a nostalgia nerve or something. I don't know if diehard collectors come here that much anymore. I know there's a lot of modern people here, a lot of modern collectors here, and at those prices seem to be do pretty good. Like they're not very uh, highly priced, but as far as vintage goes, man, they're expensive. But I did manage to find two things to take home with us. I had to dig deep for these deals, guys. Uh, I'll show you when I get back home in the toy room. Uh, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the Frankenstein show. If you like coming here, have you been here before? Let me know what you uh, what you think of the prices. Am I crazy? Do I think they're too high or are they too high? Maybe I'm just looking for better deals. I don't know. If you want to support the channel even more, check out my official Soul Couch Holland merch store. Link in the description below. Here you'll be able to order SCS logo t-shirts for you to rock while you go toy hunting. You can get them in white black or any other color that's available here for your liking we even have some hoodies as well as some special designs i had made for conventions like the ones you see here and even have stuff for the ladies and check back often as i'll have limited edition designs that will only be available for a short amount of time merch store link in the description below to order your scs logo shirts today i picked up two items from the frankenstein show today I had to search high and low for these items uh for these deals uh but there are deals to be had don't you know misunderstand me you just gotta really really search uh but before i get into all that let me show you the pickups and uh they're both from the same toy line a new toy line that i don't have any of and it i've been wanting to get them have you seen my past videos you probably see me talk about them whenever i come across them at toy stores and it is by Kenner, another 90s Kenner line. 
is Waterworld, the, <laughs> the Kevin Costner epic from the 90s, Waterworld. This one is the Power Bow Mariner. And I actually think the light is, it's not bad for what it is. Uh, this one I found in this one booth. Uh, they had a whole bunch of toy biz, Marvel stuff. And I found it in the far back corner of their booth. And they had a price at eight bucks. Uh, the bubble's actually half come, coming off. I don't know if you can tell by the top. And they actually have a piece of scotch tape <laughs> on the bubble car right here so it doesn't completely come off. Uh, but it is intact halfway. Uh, so I got this for five bucks. Talked to the vendor. I'm like, hey, it's coming off. It's going to get open. It's not meant on car. And so, yeah, they took it. Five bucks, not bad. I was probably sitting there for, for months, right? How many of you are going, uh, looking for Wild World figures? I don't know, but I was, I was happy to get it. The toy line is not that big. Oh, they got six figures here, and then two figures with little jet ski vehicles. And then the big, probably the most expensive one in the line is the Trimaran right here, which is pretty cool. It looks pretty tall too, but from a, uh, what I've seen online. Uh, so yeah, so I got this guy. And then I went to the booth. You guys saw the booth with all the tops cards from the 80s. Man, the, that guy has been there forever. He always sets up at San Diego Comic Con too. He has any cards you can think of, any packs of tops cards, brand new sealed. And then you go inside the booth, he has boxes, like the cases of 36 packs. So I went in, in I went in just to check Check it out, and he actually had a couple of action figures, a couple of hook figures, uh, some of the ones I have already, and then he had one wa Water World figure on the pegs. Uh, like I said, Water World. It was a Water World kind of day. I ended up getting the Atoll Enforcer. Pretty cool. This is, uh, I remember the guy, he was like the leader of that little Water World area where Kevin Costner goes into and then he gets overthrown or something like that but yeah got this guy uh he didn't have a price tag on him so i asked him he, he grabbed it and he said he usually doubles the sticker price so this was four dollars so he told me eight bucks and this one has been on cars nothing wrong with it i told him uh, again hey you always gotta ask guys you always gotta ask the deals you, you just never know I asked if he would take five bucks for it. He didn't want to. He's like, I'll give it to you for seven. I'm like, seven bucks, why not? It's going to cost more than that to buy it even online because you got to pay shipping. A lot of shipping going to cost that much, right? So I picked five and seven. You can't beat that, guys. Um, so it looks like I'm now getting into water roll action figures. And they are made by Kenner. So, yeah. So it looks like the only tough one that's in a cost me a little bit of money is going to be the trimaran so if anyone has one for good deals let me know but if not i'm gonna i'm gonna keep searching i'm sure i'm gonna find one one of these days and yeah it was a water roll kind of day guys That's gonna do it for today's toy hunting adventure at the Frankenstein Collectible Show in City of Industry. It's like right outside of Los Angeles, maybe like 20 minute drive, 30 with traffic, maybe more. You know, Los Angeles traffic is crazy, guys. Uh, there, if you've never been to LA, it is true. It could take you like an hour to get five miles, 10 miles, you know, it's, it's insane. But it's outside of Los Angeles and it's a cool place. If you've never been there before, I suggest at least checking it out once. I used to go every week. Every weekend I used to go, sometimes twice a month. Uh, but the, that was years ago when they were in their old location. And then as it got popular through like TV shows and cele celebrities going there, I think it was on uh, that one with Jordan Hambro, uh, the Toy Hunter show. He was there with like somebody and it got real big and then 
they moved to a new location and people started jacking up prices because more like casual people started going like non hardcore collectors so that's part of the reason of the high prices there uh but let me know what your guys thoughts are on frankenstein have you been there do you plan on going you should definitely go check it out at least once uh let me know what you guys thought of my pickups do you collect water world do you think they're garbage do you think they're cool what do you think uh whatever they are cheap which is cool so if you want to get into water world definitely do it uh, they're affordable uh thanks again for watching everybody uh give me a follow on instagram socal shaolin and also if you're not subscribed to the channel yet hit the subscribe button you can keep up with all my tournaments and adventures also you can go back check out my past videos as well and i want to thank everyone who has purchased a shirt from my uh merch store link is in the description below you don't have to of course but it always uh, helps uh, it's just another way for you to support the channel but if you really want to support the channel like comment subscribe let me know what you guys thoughts are down below uh leave those comments like button subscribe uh good luck on everyone's toy hunts out there catch you on the next hunt i'm so i am out